Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special video for you and it's a review of the brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. So let's get into it right now. This is the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. It is the Big Bend series and it's pretty nice looking. I love the way it drives. It's four wheel drive of course. It's a pretty awesome vehicle. So far so good. I can say that there has been one problem that has cropped up. This plastic piece right here is coming off already and there's not even a thousand miles on this car um but this you can see that it's just it's come unglued it's just cheap plasticky trim pieces um and you know there's a gap there i mean that's just poor quality um you know, so far that's the only complaint that I have. I love the style of wheels. Um, I like the color. I think it's it's really going to be a great vehicle, but if it's going to start falling apart, like plastic pieces falling off, that that's that's the one thing that's not going to be good. Okay, so the interior is just. It's awesome. It's very comfortable. Um, I will say that if you have to park your car outside at any point in time, I definitely recommend buying this. This sun shield is by WeatherTech and it has a blackout version. I mean, it's the best. Uh, wind, windshield sunscreen that I have ever seen. I'm going to buy it for all of my Porsches. I mean, it really keeps the sun out. I mean, it's just pitch black in here. So, WeatherTech sunscreen shield, awesome. Well, some of the really cool things about modern day cars are the engine start stop feature personally I like having keys I like having physical keys um, and uh, sorry the air condition was is really powerful it's re it's it's really loud um, the interior as you can see is pretty standard but pretty cool looking you know for a Ford I like the screen here. Uh, I like the sound system. Um, I like this cubby hole and the storage units, and it gives you a lot of um, <clears throat> extend ex outputs for for all of your uh, iPod, iPad, Apple phone, Android, whatever you need. It's pretty big, pretty roomy. It's sunroof delete. Um, everything folds down and it's plenty of room to haul stuff. It's just your cloth trim here. It is it is a nice car. It's got a lot of features here uh, on the steering wheel. Ample room in the back. All the seats fold down pretty easily. Try not to show the license plate here. <laughs> Roof rack. There's really nice lines. I like I like that it's boxy. I like the way it I like the way it drives. I like all the options. 
Only thing I don't like is the plastic piece falling off so far. One cool little option um, is this Ford Bronco right here under the rear windshield. Pretty cool looking. And this is just a, a better view of the front and all of the options there on the screen. And we can really see how the sun is blocked out by that, that sunscreen. It shows the door. And the lights go out. And you can see the, the rotary dial right here where this is how you turn it into reverse, drive, neutral, whatever right here. So one element that's pretty annoying is this right here, this button. What that button does if you leave it on is it basically just turns the car off when you're at a stoplight. And, you know, I know a lot of people want to conserve energy and all that stuff, but it's pretty hard on the vehicle. I mean, I have that option on my, on one of my Porsches and I just disabled it because it's, it's pretty annoying. And, you know, I think it's hard on the engine personally to start and stop, start and stop, you know, in, in city traffic. So we disabled this one as well. Um, now, a lot of times if, if you leave the car unattended for, for, for quite a while, if it's not your daily driver, it will revert back to that and you'll have to go through the settings and disable it. But I would because it's just kind of annoying. So, all in all, so far so good. Except for a few minor little tweaks. I think it's going to be a good, good little SUV though. Don't see anything really bad with it so far. And that'll do it. Until next time. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe and put in any comments you'd like. Thanks again for watching.